Hey what's up guys, it is Waifu or Sam here and welcome back to the channel and today I'm bringing you guys a brand new episode of Asset Reviews in Unity and in this episode we're going to be taking a look at the asset called OB Fluid which is developed by Virtual Method and it's located under Scripting Physics in the Asset Store. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the video make sure to drop a like down below and also hit the subscribe button to make sure that you stay up to tune for new videos coming soon and turn on the bell notification so that you get notified as soon as I upload and also let us know in the comments by dropping a comment down below stating what you think of the asset and if you have your own assets that you would like me to review and with that being said let's get right into the video Alrighty guys, so as we said before, we're gonna be talking about OB Fluid, which is a physics asset that allows you to create fully multi-threaded fluid simulations in Unity. And by using this asset, you can create fluid simulations that are going to react to each other, can affect and be affected by rigid bodies, even make them float or sink, and they are also capable of sticking to surfaces. So OB Fluid is available through the asset store for $60, so there is a price tag of 60 bucks, but the asset is really worthy the price IMO because you get a very content rich asset when you purchase this one and you can use obby fluid for games that are very dependent on realistic fluid physics if you're looking to create a 2d game or 3d game where there's just going to be a little bit of water probably this is not the asset for you since this is a little bit more advanced than that for for kind of usage where your game is actually more depending on the physics themselves speaking of which obby fluid can also be used by 2d or 3d games and it's also very optimized for mobile games as well as for console PC and other types of platforms that you're trying to target with your game. And I also messed around with Obby Fluid quite a bit actually before making this asset review to make sure that I know what I'm talking about. And I was having an ease of working with the asset not only because it was actually very easy to implement, which it is, but also because it has such an incredible quality and it was actually really fun just playing around with the demo scenes that are, that are coming in the asset itself. The devs also wrote on the asset store description box what this asset could actually be used for, mainly and what it not should be used for to make sure that the right kind of people actually target and buy this asset. So what you can use it for are small scale fluid simulations, 2D fluid game mechanics, dripping fluid and also splash effects. What not to use it for are large scale fluid simulations, pools, oceans, lakes, and floods. And that's why I was saying in the beginning of this video that if you're creating a 3D game where it's really not depending on the fluid physics themselves, where you have to sink and float all these rigid bodies, but it's really just to make sure that your levels look beautiful with a huge map, this probably is not the asset you wanna go for. And now guys, let's get into developer response. So now we're gonna talk about how fast the developer is responding to his reviews and how regular the asset updates are actually released. So first and foremost, the asset was released August 2016 and the latest version is at 3.2 which was released August 31st of 2017. So the latest version has been actually released quite recently and that really points at the developer being very responsive with his asset. Speaking of which, I can also see that he's very responsive in terms of how he responds to his reviews. So a lot of people have been leaving reviews, some feedback, some questions, they've been having some problem with the asset or having some questions like I said and he has been responding or they or whoever it is and that's good to know as a consumer you obviously want to have a developer who's really responsive not only because you know a engine is getting the update or whatever but if you have your questions you obviously want to receive the help you want to and now we're gonna talk a little bit about the pros and cons before we actually get into what comes in the asset so some pros are the fact that a very it's a very complete asset so if you purchase this for your physics based game you're not really gonna feel the need of purchasing another asset because this really feels complete and it's also possibly one of the if not the greatest fluid physics asset on the market right now because before I actually purchased the asset I was reading through the asset stores description box and I and I read the part where it says with OB fluid you can create fully multi-threaded triple a quality fluid simulations with ease and I was like yeah that's pretty much what you hear from any kind of asset you're gonna purchase right because no developer is going to tell you that the asset sucks or whatever but when I actually got into the asset when I opened up unity and launched the package I was 
was like, all right, this is really, really worthy the price. I was also surprised because it's greatly optimized, like, and I mean greatly, like I was not having any kind of frame rate issue on neither my old computer and my new computer that I recently bought. Like it was all just so smooth and I was not expecting that kind of frame rate with a asset that's really depending on such quality. And I also gotta say, the developer is well known for creating realistic physics assets. I mean, OB Fluid is not the only physics asset in the OB series, I guess. Um, there are also two other scripts that I know by myself, which is OB Rope and OB Cloth. And sometimes I would say OB, sometimes I say OB. It's really annoying, but anyway. <laughs> and I use both of them, and I also used OB Fluid now. And I gotta say, like, I'm getting more and more satisfied with the scripts. And now, guys, we're gonna talk about the cons. And I gotta be honest with you guys, I only have one single point for the cons part, which is a little bit lame, but I still gotta have to pick it up. And that's the fact that the price might be a little high for indie developers. Like, 60 bucks to invest into your game, it's not really, like, that easy for an indie developer to actually pull up. Like, it's not a lot of money, but it might be a lot of money for most indie developers. But I gotta be honest here and defend my, my brother OB Fluid here. <laughs> and I just gotta say, like, the fact that it's so feature-rich, the fact that it's so customizable, very optimized, and highly usable for any kind of game you're creating, pretty much, is really just an investment that you're making for your, not only your game that you're creating right now, but for your future projects as well. And that was really the only con that I have about this asset. Like, so far, with how much I've played around with these assets which is quite a bit I didn't really come up with any other cons like the optimization is near perfect the quality is amazing and you just really do get a feature rich asset for the money that you're paying for it all right guys so now we're in unity as you can see and now we're gonna talk about what actually comes in this asset so first and foremost we have the mother root folder here called obi and inside of it we have the main folders and then we also have a change log for the latest version we have a quick start guide which is really useful uh, it's actually a PDF so very useful there and then we have a readme file which is going to contain a little bit of information about the asset then we have the editor folder which is not really the one you want to use because it's just an it's just it's just, just a script holder kind of for creating custom inspectors and editor windows that is actually used by the asset itself so it's not very useful for you as a consumer then we have the plugins folder which is pretty much just a folder that holds the other folders for any kind of platform you want to create and render your games for and these are these are interesting if you're actually creating a android game etc because you have the library files in here and then we have a rendering folder here which is pretty much where all the scripts for rendering are located so you can use them if you want to drag them into your scripts or your as a component into your game objects pretty much and then we have the resources folder which is where all the resources are located such as the GUI for for the demo scenes etc then we also have a skin that you can use for it um, then we have a sample scene so the folder for sample scenes are actually very interesting because I was having such fun playing with this asset by myself too so I gotta be honest here like you, you can see it here it just looks gorgeous and you can pretty much play any kind of sample scene you want to. This is one of these that are actually following within these assets. assets. So um, it's just one that I have open. And it's fully customizable too, so you can use these sample asset scenes or sample scenes to make sure that you can play around and see how it really looks when you're actually implementing them. And then we have the scripts folder where all the scripts are located. And I'm not going to go into every single one of these because it's going to take a lot of time. But the most important part here for you would be the rendering part, if I had to be honest. And that was pretty much it, what comes in the asset. So, in conclusion guys, who would I recommend this asset to? OB Fluid can be used by pretty much anyone who's creating a 2D or 3D game, which is really depending on the physics themselves for creating a realistic fluid simulation. And I'm gonna have the link in the description down below for this asset, so even if you're not really interested right now, I would still challenge you to check it out and give it a try. Not necessarily buy it, but give it a try by actually checking out the asset store page, because I didn't really have that much high hopes for this asset but since i had already used ob cloth especially and an ob rope 2 i was like yeah i'm gonna try this asset out and pr perhaps make a asset review on it because it's such the ob series is actually incredible and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you all enjoyed your times and speaking of which let me know in the comments if you actually did enjoy your time and if you're enjoying these asset reviews that i'm making i personally love them and i also enjoy seeing your feedback and all these comments that you're leaving regarding the series 
on this channel. And guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a like down below and also hit the subscribe button to make sure that you stay up to tune for new videos coming soon. Turn on those notifications to make sure that you get notified as soon as I upload. And with that being said, once again, thank you so much for watching. I will catch you in the comments. See you guys. Peace out. Bye bye. What this looks like uh, The sun's coming up The birds are singing Should start getting up But instead I'm sitting At the edge of the bed With my head in my hands Like damn This was a part of